I'm gonna tell you two ways to make a tattoo stencil by hand. Welcome to Art Something, I'm Dave, and let's get into it. Let me tell you what you're gonna need to make your stencil by hand. First thing you're gonna need, stencil paper. It's a given, we're gonna need it. You're also gonna need a pencil and a pen. And the last thing you're gonna need is whatever image you wanna tattoo. In our case, we're gonna be tattooing this flower. Uh, it's a nice peony. I like these kind of tattoos. They're just fun. So let's do that. Okay, with the first piece of stencil paper, the first method, we have our layers. The top layer, middle layer here. This is pretty well designed to keep ink getting onto our main layer. So in this case, we're gonna leave this one here for right now, okay? Next, we're gonna take our image right inside, slide down. We're gonna take our pencil, sharpen, and line this. You can you wanna go kinda light at this point when you're lining. There's really, you don't need to push down hard, just nice and gentle. Okay, at this point, we should have a nice little pencil sketch there on our top layer. At this point, open it up. You're gonna pull out that second brown layer. Next, we're gonna take the pen and go over this whole thing again. In this case, we wanna push a little harder than we did before. Before, we had the pencil and we were just pushing gently, enough so we can see the image now. At this point, we have to push a little bit harder. So let's get to that with the pen. So this is method number one, and we'll take a look at that. And there is our stencil. That's version number one. I think the stencil turned out just fine. Next, I'm gonna show you a quicker way to do this, version two. Okay, just like in the first version, we have piece of stencil paper, the image we wanna work with. Now in this case, when we open this up and we look at our first layer, our second layer, our carbon paper, and then our fourth layer, this time we wanna get rid of our second layer, the brown one. Throw that in the trash. Next, slide this back down. Take the image you want to work with and set it on top. Now, if you're gonna go this route, it's pretty important that you tape it. For time's sake, this is a much better method. Not using the pencil this time, just the pen. Same thing as before, keep it flat. I have it taped down, it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna line it, so let's do that. Okay, with that, we'll peel it back, take the tape off, and result. All you're gonna do is pull back. You can see your stencil right there. Peel it, dispose of the rest. So let's go ahead and cut this one out, and we'll compare the two. This is version two, the one we just did. Uh, did miss a couple of lines there, but nonetheless, you see what's going on here. And this was from our first version, where we had to trace it twice. It's totally up to you which way you like to make your stencil or you want to make your stencil moving forward. I like version two, it's a little bit quicker, it seems smoother, it's all up to you. If this video helped you, smash the like button, subscribe. Until next time guys, peace.